Franklin now ready to go to work. Now he's into the wind and the 0 2 pitch on the way. Strike three call, and the Mariners have 100 wins here in 2001 in their 140th game. And they did it in typical style. They came from behind and won it going away. Popped up right side of the diamond. Brett Boone is there. He makes the catch, and the ball game is over. The Mariners blank the Angels five to nothing as the Mariners go onto the field. They are the American League West champions for 2001. They're going to the postseason for the fourth time in their 20-plus history here in Seattle. Celebrate, fans! Celebrate! And now the right-hander is. To the plate with the 0-2 to A-Rod. Swing! And a foul tip into the glove of Dan Wilson, who hangs on to it. And no baseball team in history has ever won more games than the Seattle Mariners. And tomorrow, they try to stand all alone as a team that has won more than anybody. Currently, they are tied with the 1906 Chicago Cubs. Waving that wood back and forth, and now the southpaw ready. The pitch to Edgar, swung on, and a high fly ball hit the deep center field. Lofton goes back, it will fly away. Edgar Martinez on the first pitch goes dead center field. Third base, and your winner, Seattle. to take a 7-6 lead. George Springer represents the last chance. A drive to right. Orlando on his horse back there to make the catch at the wall. And it's with that exclamation point that the Kansas City Royals move on for a date with the Blue Jays. That's into right field. This ball is down. Going to third is Kane.
Marcia Parra pops it up. Ruiz says he's got it. The Phillies win the pennant. This ball is rocketing into right. Don't worry about the wind. Three to one. Now he launches one to right. Back to back. Two on, one out. And Howard hits it in the air to left. This ball will carry out. Five to one, Philadelphia. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Stuck him out. The Philadelphia Phillies are 2008 World Champions of Baseball. Brad Lynch does it again and stays perfect for the 2008 season. 48 for 40. So stick around and listen carefully. The 0-2 pitch to Burnitz is a grounder grabbed by a flying shot grabbed by Council for the third out. And the Diamondbacks have clinched a tie for the National League Western Division Championship on a three-hit shutout by Albi Lopez beating the Brewers 5-0. Two out and the 2-2 pitch to Womack. Little floater, left field. Here comes Batista. Here's the throw. Diamondbacks going to the NLCS. Bob Brindley left the broadcast booth, not only here on Fox, but the Diamondbacks broadcast booth to take over his manager. In the air, left center field. Steve Finley calling off Gonzalez. And the Arizona Diamondbacks become the fastest expansion franchise to reach the World Series. In just their fourth year, they will move on to the Fall Classic. Eleven. Two out. His 111th pitch of the night is his last. Diamondbacks win it four to nothing. They're up two games to none. Their franchise history, Schilling strikes out Brocious two away in the ninth against Sasaki as Brocious strikes out two to one in the ninth. Two on, one out, and Womack in the right field a hit. Here comes Cummings. It's tied. Going to third is Bell. Tony Womack delivers. It's two two. The chance of a lifetime for Luis Gonzalez. 2-2, bottom of the ninth. Game seven of the World Series. Bases loaded. Florida, center field. The Diamondbacks are world champions. New York has. Gloss hits it to deep left field. Back at the wall. It's gone. The game is tied. Troy Gloss answers the Rondell White home run, and it's 4 4 in the sixth. Into left field. Well hit. Did he do it again at the wall? Gloss home run. And the Angels have their first lead of the night 5 4 in the eighth. Postseason play, the pitch. There's a drive well hit in the left field. Rivera going back. He can't catch it. The ball's off the wall. Going into third, being waved around as Wooten. He'll score. And the Angels keep on tacking on runs. It's 9 to 2. Percy delivers, and it's popped up. Third base side. X9, the shortstop, makes the catch. The American League champion, New York Yankees, out. The 
They are one strike away from the promised land, the fall classic in Anaheim. Percival leans in. From a stretch, he delivers, and Prince hits a pop fly. It's Eckstein who's going to catch it. The Angels win it! And the Anaheim Angels are the 2002 American League champions for the first time in the history of the Angels. They're going to the World Series. The count full to Spezio, three and two. Big pitch coming up. Rodriguez sets. The 3-2 pitch is belted to right field. Back on it goes Sanders at the wall. He can't get it. Home run. Two balls and one strike to Troy Gloss. The never say die Angels giving their fans a thrill down the stretch in the bottom of the eighth inning. Two balls and one strike. Nen delivers and it's belted. Left field in the gap. It's in there for a double. Here comes Biggins. Here comes Anderson. The Angels take the lead. Six to five. Down and in. Driven into right center field. Erstad says he has it. The Angels, world champions. center. Gardner is there. The Yankees win game one. In the air to right. Back is Abreu at the wall. That's gone. Game tied. It's a home run. Tied at three. Tough for right-handers to pick up. Yeah, that 201 average, the best in the major leagues against right-handers. That is rocketed into left field, and how about this start for New York? One to nothing Yankees on a blast by Derek Jeter on a 2-0 pitch. Yankees win the pennant. Two out in the inning now. Broken bat pop up and the Yankees win game three. To the second baseman Cano. The Yankees are back on top. World champions for the 27th time. It all starts before uh, Harvey ever made landfall, uh, getting prepared for the hurricane, sandbagging, securing doors, etc. All of that was done before anything else on, on Friday the 25th. When it started moving toward Texas, we knew we were going to get some of it, to be either a direct hit or to be on the dirty side of the storm. When I opened the door, more water rushed in, and all of my stuff flew out, and like it just kept coming in. 50,000 plus structures uh, were impacted. Some people lost everything. In the air. Who wants it? Correa. 
And for the first time in 16 years, the Astros are division champs. The players hopping in a pile behind the pitcher's mound as the Houston Astros' magic number is zero. Altuve smacks one toward left center field. Back at the wall, Benintendi. They go back to back and go up to nothing. First pitch, and Altuve drives this one deep to left center field. Benintendi is going back, looking up. See you later! Second home run. Here's the 1-1. One, one. This ball's belted to left. That ball's got a chance. Make it three! Altuve not going 3-2, and Correa hits this one out in the right center field, and that one's going to get down for a base hit. Altuve is on his way to third base, and Altuve around third and coming home. Here's a throw to the plate by Gregorius. It's dropped by Sanchez. Altuve scores, and the Astros win it 2-1. Carlos Correa the hero. Game seven facing team his dad pitched for. One out away from a save in game seven. Bird into center. Springer says he's got it. The Houston Astros win the pennant. Gonzalez hits one in the air into left center field. Back at the wall and is gone. Tie game in the ninth. Marwin Gonzalez. Correal has tied it. Wow. Second, Derek Fisher can run. Bregman would like to get him to scamper home. Two on, two out. Tenth inning. That's in the air to left. Here comes Fisher. Throw by Ethier. Astros win it. In ten. Traded over here because of a Sanchez success. Here's a ground ball right side. Could do it. The Houston Astros are world champions for the first time in franchise history. Line drive, caught it first, and that's the ball game. They are celebrating on the south side. Back in the postseason for the first time since 2000, the Chicago White Sox are the 2005 American League Central Division champions. Driven long and hard to left field. Good! The Gucci Canerco. The Red Sox dream to repeat is over and the Chicago White Sox have come into Fenway Park and completed a sweep here in the AL Division Series. Escobar another strikeout. Kersinski is going down to first. The home plate umpire has not made a call and safe and the Angels are already off the field. And that's into the left field corner. This ball is off the wall. The White Sox have won. And this only begins what will be an argument. Cy Young Award winner, early win. Ground ball to first. The White Sox have won the pennant. Bases loaded, two out. With Kinnair going. And he rips one in the left. Kaneko, grand slam! Potsednik hits one to deep right center field. Back at the wall. 
This ball is gone. Pop Sednik goes deep. His second home run of the postseason. And the White Sox win it 7 6. Longest game in the World Series history. Blum hits it into right down the line. It is gone. Jeff Blum, the former Astro, goes deep. And here in the 14th inning, the White Sox take a 6 5 lead. Tying run at second, two out. Palmero over the head of Jenks. Uribe charges, throws. Out! And the White Sox have won the World Series. Juan Uribe with a play, charging it, throwing it, and the White Sox celebrate their first title in 88 years. Contreras pinch hitting, and Contreras hits a ground ball up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. A two-run single by Wilson Contreras, and the 0-2 from Strickland. And Baez hits a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Hayward around third. He will score. Cubs lead 6-5, and the Cubs dugout jumping up and down. And the Chicago Cubs are moving on to the National League Championship Series. Eight games. There hasn't been a cycle, and there won't be one here tonight. This is Russell. Cubs have forced a game seven. Winning at nine to three. Zobris stands a base hit. Cubs will take the lead. Zobris delivers seven to six in the tenth. Not before. Here's the 0 one. This is going to be a tough play. play. The Cubs. But he's and not. 2-2. Two, two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And the Red Sox are kings of the American League East for a franchise record third year in a row. And he's 0-2 pitch. Swing and a ground ball left side. Backhanded by Bogarts. Jump shot throw over to first. Hold stretches out at first. And the ball game is over. The Boston Red Sox pound the Yankees 16-1 in game three of the ALDS. Here he comes, the one-two. Bouncing ball, gonna be a tough play. Nunez gloves, throws, and in time for the out. The Red Sox will celebrate. Pitchers love throwing to him. In the air, left field, that is slicing. Down in the corner, and it is off the wall. Two runs are in. And Devers is going to score. It's a three-run double. Jackie Bradley Jr. Boston on top. The set. And the 1-1 to JBJ. Swing it a high drive to right field. Reddick going back. Back to the warning track. This ball is going. And it is gone. A grand slam for Jackie Bradley Jr. And the Red Sox have broken it open. They lead it 8-2. Can you believe it? Runners will be off with a crack of the bat with two outs. Kimbrell deals. Bregman in the air. Left field. Benintendi dives. And he makes the catch. Oh, what a play. Game saver. Andrew Benintendi. One ball, 
one strike. Kimbrell deals in the air, deep left field, hit well. Benintendi on the run. He's got it! And the Boston Red Sox are headed to the World Series. Into the gap in right center field. This ball is down into the wall. It will empty the bases. Steve Pierce, what a night. For Boston in the ninth. Oh, two back to Price. What a night. It's all David Price in game five. Boston organization has been well run for a long time now. From the top on down, here comes a one two pitch. Red Sox win the World Series. Five to one the final tonight. And the best team in baseball wins it all in 2018.